let's get started. So we've got a subtraction number sentence here. So if you can work out, there's five, 10, 15. Okay, I can count in fives because I know they're in pens or groups of five. So my starting number would be 15 here. So a one, one ten, and five ones. So 15 minus something equals something. Okay, you're problem solving question over here. How many triangles can you see? So it might be covered up a little bit. So there's one big one here. So you've got one. Okay, so see if you can write the number five triangles. Okay, then we have um, a Dean, which is a 10. Okay, so each one of these is 10. So should we double check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got 10, 20, 30. So your answers are always going to equal. 30 like that okay now this is a tricky one because we haven't really done hundreds okay but this number is 914 okay because this is our teen number so what i want you to do is tell me how many tens there are are there nine tens are there one ten or are there four tens now remember you might not know what the hundred column is but i'll just put a h there 100 but you do know the tens and ones okay so see if you can work out which one is the tens column okay fab now your reasoning question it says if i count in fives i will say 16 so we're just going to practice counting in five so let's do it together zero five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five 50. Did you say the number five, uh, number 16? Tell me why. OK, let's pause and have a go. All right, well done for doing that. So I've got 15. I'm going to take away one group. I'm going to take away this group here. The 15 minus 5 equals, how many do I have left? 5, 10. That's right, so then I have 10 left. So I've got 15 minus 5 equals 10. Let's count these triangles now, shall we? So I've got one for the beak, one, two, three, four, five triangles. So hopefully you've written five and then triangles. So you put I angle like that. Five triangle or five triangles. Got my best in time. Okay, right. Now we know the answer is 13, uh, 30, because I've got 10, 20, 30. You could have done this in any way. You could have had um, 10 plus 20 equals 30, or you could have had 20 plus 10 equals. Okay, you could have had many different ways. You might have even partitioned the 10, okay, and created and used five instead of 10, but hopefully these are the type of answers that you've got. Okay, so we know that that's the hundreds column. We know that's normally the tens and that's the ones. Okay, O for ones. Because one is spelled like this, remember? So we, it's not, oh, it isn't. Um, w O N, which is sometimes phonetically how it sounds, but that is actually how one is spelled. So that's why I put my O above it, my O above it. All right, so the amount of tens, there are one ten in 914. There are four ones, one ten, and nine hundreds. But don't worry about the hundreds, it was a bit of a trick one just to see who can do what. OK, so if I count in fives, I know that the number, the ones column, has to be a zero or a five. So is 16 a zero or a five in the ones column? No, so that is your reasoning. OK, so well done for getting on with your mass fluency this morning. I hope you have a fantastic day. 
And don't forget to try and put today's word of the day into a sentence. Today's word of the day is fortunate. I am very fortunate to go to school. Fortunate. Can you say fortunate? OK, have a go at writing that sentence. Good job on your home learning and we'll see you a bit later.